What is going on everyone? I hope everyone is having a fantastic morning, night, afternoon, midday, mid-after night. Anyway, today's going to be a good day. Today's Saturday. It's finally sunny. I'm feeling good. Subaru is getting a little change up. That's a it's a double din stereo that I or radio whatever you want to call it that I had it originally, but then I took it out, put the stock one because I was selling it. But since you already watched my last video, you know that I'm keeping it, so I'm throwing that back in. And also, I'd like to say my old car that I had was a this is super random, but my old car was a, it was a BMW, it was a 325, like a 2001, I think, and it was super hard to install stuff, and something that I like about the Subaru is that this is legitimately going to take me 10 minutes fully installed. Watch. All I need is this. One screwdriver to install this. It's great. Ready, set, go. <laughs> It's out. It is out. It's done. There's literally this ground harness. I'm pretty sure that's an antenna. But that's it. I'm, that was like two minutes. Easy peasy. Yeah. Smiling no. Missing, but that picture's with me smiling no. Got it. All right, everything is all in. Well, almost all in. I just want to show you something real quick. I never really noticed this. Every time I kept installing this or anything I've installed for like dash work, I never looked at like a shifter assembly. I thought it was pretty cool. I'm gonna show you guys. Check this out. So obviously, boom, shift knob. Here's shift knob. Under here, I thought, I was in the exception and went straight down. But check this out. So we go first get, or neutral. This shaft, I assume, goes to the transmission. But I don't know. I thought that was pretty cool. And you can replace like these bushings down here. So ooh, that's gross. That's grease. Wow. Now I wash my hands now. All right. Boom. And I got the little USB coming out of here. And close that up. Good to go. So thing number one on my list is done, ready to go, and now I'm going to head to the bank and then I'm going to go to San Jose, which is about 45 minutes away, and pick up something for the Subaru, but you can't know what it is, but I'm taking you along with me. Bye, beautiful Porsche. Bye. I love you. So unfortunately, that didn't work out. I uh, I went to the shop and they were closed. So yeah, I guess that was my fault. I called ahead of time and they didn't answer, but I thought they were just like you know ignoring me. I don't know. I just I was hoping for the best. They are closed. So then I just went to Speed Element, the place I always go to because I always have really cool cars and they're cool. Anyway, I just visited that shop and it was cool and they have a cool Porsche. And now um, I'm gonna go to In-N-Out because it's like around the corner and I'm starving. So, burger in three, two. So I thought I was going to In-N-Out but it's just not worth it because I've never seen a longer line, ever. Like, you know how they go from number like zero to 100? They're on number nine right now, and I'm pretty sure the last person ordered is like 27. Like, no. When every seat is taken at a restaurant, I'm out. I'm sorry, I can't wait. I'm starving. There's other food over there. I'm going over there. In and out's right there, and I went all the way long travel to here. I don't. I can get pizza. Can I pizza? I get that smoke and barbecue. 
Chipotle, the Witch Witcho. Not sure how I feel about that one. Or Starbucks. I'm thinking Chipotle. Just got done eating, feel a lot better. Um, it's currently 1.44 in the afternoon. I was supposed to meet up with Jordan at like four, but since I'm already on this side of the hill and there's always nice cars over here, I'm gonna go see if there's any nice cars on Santana Row. And if there is, I'm gonna look at them. And then I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with myself after that because I'm, I'm alone. There's, there's no one here. I gotta entertain myself. I don't know. I'm gonna go find a GTR or something. Ooh, that's a good idea. I'm bored. And you didn't? Okay. We made it back to Santa Cruz. Now um, we're with the Subaru right here. And I need to adjust my dampening because I'm realizing I think I'm actually bottoming out and it's getting bad with this low life. Because I am right, like you can't even, I don't even know if you could see in there, but there's, I have about an inch. I probably have like an inch and a half to where I actually start hitting some stuff. So I'm gonna show you how to adjust dampening on BC coils. This is literally all you do. It says soft and hard. We need it as hard as possible. So we're gonna turn these guys all the way. There's 30 different clicks. I'm gonna go to 30 and back it off too. Always better safe than sorry. So I'm gonna put these on 28, put those on 28, and then I'm gonna show you how to adjust the rears. So how you adjust the rears, they're actually on top back here on each side, but you have to take out the seats to adjust it, but it's not that hard. All you gotta do, there's one screw right here, one exactly on the other side, the bottom piece comes out, and then this top piece, there's three screws right here that I'll show you. You take that out and you can adjust it. Took these two bolts out, this thing pops out, and then there's three bolts, one right there, one in the middle, one over there. Now this guy just pops out, and then you'll see it. Now, I don't want to take this back part fully out because it's kind of hard to get back in by yourself. So, there it is. There's the other top. We're going to set that to 28 as well. We'll be good to go. So, done adjust. we're done adjusting. What the f... I'm done adjusting the dampening on the Subaru. We haven't test drove it yet, but it's all good in the hood because I'm pretty sure it's going to be okay. It's going to be really stiff. But hopefully, I don't like bottom out. Anyway, I've been sitting on this sidewalk here for roughly 39 minutes. I think we're right around 39 minutes. I'm just looking up parts for the Subaru. It's getting really bad. I'm like mentally super in debt right now. I got a Snapchat. Yep. Never mind. Anyway, we're going to go eat right now. I have no idea what we're going to eat, but it's going to be good. So I was looking at comments right now on the last video I posted of when I said, am I selling the Subaru? I'm seriously dyslexic. I don't know how to spell whatsoever, and I don't know the am and the I'm thing. So I'm gonna change it right now. I apologize for the title mistake. And every future mistake, when I spell something wrong, it looks right to me, because I'm actually diagnosed dyslex dyslex. I can't talk either! I'm dyslexic. Hi, my name's Alex, I'm dyslexic, basically. That's where we're at. I literally do not know how to spell, because it looks right to me, but then clearly it's wrong, and then people tell me that I gotta change it. Anyway, I apologize. Yet again, I'm gonna show Steven that we actually will scrape right here. No, do you think we'll scrape? Yes. Okay, watch. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> scraper, Birdie. scraper, we don't care. All right, so we're a little stiff. Good thing this thing I think has an internal like stabilizer thing. Hello. I don't think this guy likes me. They're so fun. Wait, how are we gonna get over this? Just wait to the car. Ooh. No, going. Oh, I'm God. Little, little Artie's little just kiss. a little kiss. Little kiss. Oh, we are living the low life right now. We are living the low life. <laughs> wow, it is really stiff. This is awesome. I don't know if anyone remembers, but the last video I said, I can't get to the gas station I normally get to because my car is so low. This gas station is low car friendly. Look at this. Look at it. It's not aggressive whatsoever. I appreciate it, thank you. So after driving for about five minutes with the coils on the like almost stiffest setting, two away, I'm kind of regretting. It's really bumpy. It's really, really bumpy. We might need to tone it down a little bit, but I mean, at least I don't like bottom out, but I'm literally like 
whatever. Steven and I just got done with eating some sushi. Look at the Porsche. And there's a Porsche, you see it? It's right over there. <clears throat> it sounds really good, it has some sort of exhaust on it. He's just, but, he's just yeah, a Yeah, he's just a savage, he's just a savage. Uh, we have no plans right now, we're gonna figure out what to do. I'm gonna end it sad right now. Okay, so, I had a million things planned today. Everything went shh, failing. Everything failed, I think. You know what, but you, ha you, know, you have those days sometimes. That's all I gotta say about that one. For the past like two hours, I was just looking up like TJ Hunt videos and I got super sad because he's savage and yeah. Anyway, I don't want to be TJ Hunt. I think I do. do. I think I do. Let's just be honest here. I'll say it today. I'll say it what's today. You never know. Anything can happen. Saturday, March 25th at 8, 11 p.m. Collabing with TJ. I'm putting it out there and putting, putting the vibes out in the world. Tag PJ in the comments. I'll tag him everyone, in the comments. Everyone tag him in the comments. Everyone tag him, apparently. Who wants to see the collab go down? It would be epic. Just saying. I backflip off his 350. <laughs> you see? Like, I do a backflip off his chassis-mounted wing on the 350 thumbnail it collab. Let's me drive GTR. Let's me drive his GTR. <laughs> I don't you never know. It would be the sickest collab of all time. Just saying, putting the vibes out there, it's happening 2017. I'm going to end it on that one. Peace out.